Hey guys, Jack Scalfani here from the Cooking with Jack show. Now listen, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, hit that subscribe button wherever it is down here. I forget YouTube keeps remodeling the channel like every week. But anyway, hit that and be sure to hit the notification bell so that it alerts you when I put out a new video, okay? But in the meantime, let's get to this video. We're doing Korean Sloppy Joes. And yes, I am toasting my buns. Okay, so I just filmed this and I lost the footage because the audio was all wacky, but uh, I got us back online with the audio and the camera and everything. So I have a few ingredients that are in here. I got the hoisin sauce that I put in here and that was this right here. Put a cup of that in, I'm doubling my recipe. Single version will be down below. I also did, oh, ketchup. I used all the rest of my ketchup and that's in here and I use some sesame seed oil okay sesame seed oil and that's in here and that's all I've done so far I haven't even mixed it yet I just want to let you know what I dropped in here I had it filmed but it sounded really bad so I'm just going over it one more time with you next thing we're gonna do is put our water in that's good next thing we're gonna do is put my soy sauce in. Now I know the measurements down below, so if you're wondering how much I'm putting in, I'm putting in about two tablespoons worth. Whoops, I spilled a little bit. All right, rice wine vinegar. And by the way, at the single lasts for two tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm doubling that, so I put in four. Okay, there we go. So we're gonna open up our sriracha. Doesn't ask for much sriracha. Make sure you got the crusty stuff off the top. You know how that happens, it forms all the time. Just take a little bit of sriracha. There you go. Close that up. Put it away for another day. Okay guys, now last thing we gotta do, got everything in here. Just gotta take our, our garlic. Freshly chopped, that's right. Not jarred, not dried, but it's freshly chopped, guys. Just get you all, like some of you guys, get really weird when I use some pre-packaged stuff. So I like to brag when it's fresh. All right, guys, just drop your meat in. There you go. Perfect. And you don't want to break this up too much. Keep it a little bit chunky like you're used to seeing Sloppy Joes, okay? As I'm browning this, I'm going through the refrigerator and I see leftover onions from Thanksgiving, I'm mean not Thanksgiving, from Christmas. We had a taco bar and we cut up a lot of onions. So I'm gonna take, steal some of these onions. I know we already got onions topping this off, but I think I wanna saute some onions in there. Cause we had a boatload, you see? Now we got the onions, but not in the recipe. You can throw in onions if you want. I did just because I had leftover onions. But let's put the sauce in right now. Here we go. Pour that in. There we go. I thought that would make a lot. I mean, it did, but it kind of, we're gonna simmer this for a little bit and let it all thicken up. But yeah, that meat's still gonna cook, but it's nice and brown. So you could eat it now if you wanted, but let's get this all mixed up. We're gonna let that simmer for a while. Okay, I don't know about you, but my mom glopped on Sloppy Joe's. That's why it's called Sloppy. Not sure why it's called Joe's, but we're gonna let this cool for a minute. Then I'm gonna take a big spoonful of this and start piling it on. But let it cool down just for a minute and get a little, little goopy, like a Sloppy Joe. Take a heap load and pile it on there. Take a heap load and pile it on there. The beauty is it's messy. Get that all over there. Let the toasted bread soak that all in. Look at that. Beautiful. There's a little chunk that fell out of the, the burger, kind of the sloppy joe. It's off to the side and I'm dying to take it and grab it and taste it. 
but I need, I'm going to have my wife come in and try this because I, for some reason you believe her more than you believe me. So I'm not going to go, mmm, tastes great. And you guys go, oh, you're just saying that, you know. So we're going to bring in a third party so that she can say whether it needs more salt, whether it's too much onions, whether it's too sweet or sour or whatever. But anyway, this, yeah, this looks really beautiful and messy. Okay, we're ready. Okay, here she goes. Ready? It's a mess. It's, apart. it's called sloppy. Yeah, well, it's sloppy Joe's. Part. There you go. You just leave it. You don't need it all. There's a towel right there if you need. It's good. You like it? Mm -hmm. Would you do anything different to it, or it's where mm -hmm. it needs to be? That's good. All Can right. Clean up. She's got a mess going. And that's why they call it Sloppy Joe's. Because they're sloppy. Guys, try this recipe. I'm smelling it. I know it tastes good. I didn't have to try it. I'll probably have this for dinner. But um, it came out great. And I threw a little bit of onions in there. You might want to add that. But I'll have the single recipe down below. Remember, I doubled it in this video. So have fun with it. And go Korean. Love you guys. Bye-bye.